Now to our weather watch and a live look outside at the Dan Ryan on this Monday evening commute. At least no rain or snow to contend with on the roadways. That's right. Mary Kay is here with a check of our forecast and we've held off the snow for almost a week now. Oh Let's keep God. it going, right? Well, that whole weekend storm, we had a ridge of high pressure locked over us that kept that storm in the south to the south and we had a very quiet time. Now we do have a little bit of haze as we look over the city and I think pockets of fog may redevelop for us tonight, so we're going to watch for that. It's 27 degrees right now. Visibility right now is running about five miles and winds are out of the south southwest at 13 miles per hour. So it's feeling like the teens in Laporte and Valparaiso and Gary feeling like 22 at O'Hare and also in DeKalb and 28 is what it feels like in Ottawa. Precipitation chances this week, nothing tomorrow, but as we get into the middle of the week, we're going to watch a system pull in and then we're going to keep those chances going through at least Saturday morning with on and off mostly light rain, but as you notice when the temperatures get low at midnight and into the morning hours, that's when we could see it change to snow more on that in a moment. But visibility right now is going to be dropping a bit this evening. We have six mile visibility now in Aurora, five mile at Midway Airport and also in Laporte, four mile visibility in Rensselaer. So the next two days tomorrow, sunshine, quiet, light winds, skies are bright, 35. But on Wednesday, we introduce rain and snow showers into the forecast with that southwesterly wind pulling slightly milder air into the forecast. So so for now, with high pressure overhead, it's pretty quiet for us. Skies are clear, but we are noticing that haze and a little bit of fog may start to develop for us. So with high pressure here, it's quiet tonight. But this is the storm system I'm watching that's going to be moving in quickly by Wednesday. And as it moves into the picture and we pick up a southwesterly wind flow with some milder air, it's going to pull some moisture in ahead of it, and that's going to create that rain snow mix. So when we look at future cast tomorrow morning, we may have a little haze or fog, but then during the day, a lot of sunshine, and then tomorrow night. Here's tomorrow evening. Clouds moving in and those hang around Wednesday morning and we could see a light mix there, especially over southern Wisconsin. I think the low itself will keep a lot of the heavier precipitation north of us and then east of us over Metro Detroit as we go through the late day hours on Wednesday. So a closer look at that as we watch the temperature in the morning tomorrow. We'll have sunshine in spots, haze and fog in others, 28 degrees to start. Then as we go through the afternoon, full sunshine and highs should reach the middle 30s for us. But then Tomorrow night into the late evening hours, the clouds gather for us. So here's 11 o'clock tomorrow night with the temperature still holding at 30 degrees. So when that moisture starts to move in at daybreak Wednesday, models do bring in a light rain and snow mix because that temperature will be hovering close to the freezing mark and then rising as we go through the day. So on Wednesday, it's going to be a light mix. And when we look at how much snow, well, at most we could see a grassy fresh coat of snow, but then I think enough rain is going to mix in with this that it could end up just being some slushy accumulation. Very, very light though, as you can see from the printout of computer model information here, maybe a little more so in Laporte as we see some lake enhancement take shape over western Michigan. So for tonight, we'll look for chilly temperatures, areas of fog, about 25 for the low. Those winds start dying down out of the southwest and we'll see 23 in Valparaiso, 22 in Rensselaer, 22 degrees in DeKalb. So then fog to start your morning and then bright sunshine in the afternoon. I think those southwesterly winds could take us to 40 in places like Kankakee and Rensselaer and Valparaiso and Ottawa. Otherwise, right at the freezing mark in Waukegan and 34 for a high in McHenry. But the sun will be a welcome sight all over again. Winds out of the west at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So then as we look at the next seven days, when we see that system move in on Wednesday, the temperature should make it to about 37. And that rain and snow shower activity could start as soon as daybreak and kind of linger throughout the day. So it could be a little messy in spots or a little slow for us on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning, keeping light rain in the forecast so each night it could mix with some wet snowflakes but notice the daytime high temperatures making it into the lower 40s Robin Erica so we're not expecting a heavy duty shoveling to do this week but it could get a little sloppy starting on Wednesday yeah, at least it says 40 that's what we need isn't that shocking yeah <laughs> thanks